Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, man, the champ here, and we are at Wonderland. Finally back after about five months, if you count uh, uh, Winterfest. So what's going on today is, believe it or not, this is actually uh, the 20th season of me going to Wonderland. I started in about oh, 2004. So I'm going to hopefully, I haven't checked the, the post lately, hopefully it's changed, but I put up a poll to do like a little challenge for myself. And it was either do my top 20 rides in a row, no brakes, or 20, my favorite ride in the park 20 times in a row, no brakes. As of right now, it's tied, so either I'm going to have to flip a coin or figure out something else. So join me when I get in the park. I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're in the park now. It's uh, about 9.40, give or take. And this is where I get hit with copyright. But uh, since we have a little bit of time, I figure let's go in here and see what else might be new for the season. Well, right off the bat, these tie-dye shirts look pretty new. This isn't going to take very long. Just get a quick uh, sweep through. <laughs> yeah, pretty neat. If I had the money to spend, I'd probably get some of this stuff, but it's pretty damn expensive. Just look at that. $45 for that. $70 for that. Jeez. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that looks pretty new. I can remember seeing these things. Maybe I haven't paid attention. I don't know. That happens a lot. Shirts look pretty neat. Uh, sweaters, I mean. 70 bucks. Yeah. Lantern hats, striker hats, t shirts. So, what I'm gonna do is um, when the park officially opens, like the rides and stuff, I'm gonna do my traditional opening ride, which is Vortex. And then after that, if the, I'm gonna check the community post one more time, and if it hasn't changed, then I'm probably just gonna flip a coin or find some kind of compromise. So anyway, I'll be back in a bit when the park opens, and we'll see what happens. Here we are, heading towards the first ride of the season, Vortex. I gotta say, that, that paint job looks nice, still, like, wow. First, I don't care. Woo. First ride of the season, first train of the day. Not bad, running pretty smoothly as usual. So, I checked the, the video, I, I checked the community post again. I don't know why I said video. It's still deadlocked. So, what I'm going to do is like a kind of like a compromise thing. I'm going to do my top 10 favorite rides in a row, no breaks. And then after I finish number one, I'm going to ride it again 10 more times. With a small break in between because I'm probably going to get like really thirsty, all this walking and stuff. So that's what I've decided on, you know. If, uh, Good. To those of you who voted, you know, thank you. Of course, it didn't work out the way I hoped it would, but what are you going to do? So, to kick off number 10, and how convenient, we're going to be going on the fly. That is number 10 on my top 10 list. So, what I'm going to do is to, like... I'm going to film myself entering the ride and exiting the ride because I don't have anybody here to like keep me honest, unfortunately, and we didn't want it to come with me, so so to prove that I'm actually going on the ride, not just, you know, saying I did. I'm going to 
feel myself entering and exiting. Well, entering at least, but probably exiting too. So here we go. Ten done. Let's head over to number nine. And coming here at number nine, we have Kraken Wagon. Does he know that popular first thing in the morning? Man, I should have gone to jail with all those hit and runs I got away with. God damn, I got like five or six different people. Nobody even got me. <laughs> That's funny. Also, slight miscorrect, slight correction. I'm tired, guys. It's Kretchen wagon, not Kraken wagon. Because you always think of that. It's it's the, the CHB, a K, not a CH. But anyway. So that was number nine. Let's go to number eight. Coming in at number eight. And got pretty lucky because this was down for a little bit. So I was hoping it would be back up by the time I got to it. And luckily it is. So yeah, number eight, Lumberjack. I'm probably going to be the only guy on this ride. <laughs> Nobody's here literally just open i'm walking by and i hear lumberjack no operation i'm like oh okay sweet perfect perfect timing i hope it stays that way while i do this one so let's just see how this goes My pick of seats too, it was perfect. Just gonna pause for one second. Right. Might as well pick the only seat that's open, right? Oh man. Have a good day, buddy. Have a good day. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm only on uh, number eight and I already feel like I'm done after that. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Luckily, it'll take a while to walk to the next ride, so that'll give me a sort of break. So, oh god. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Alright, well, coming in at number seven is Wonder Mountain's Guardian. And it looks like it's open, so let's go see. Hopefully it'll still be running by the time we get to the front. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're good. Let's go in. I'm surprised it's actually open. I'm not complaining.
Yeah, you may not know, I certainly did. Apparently they got rid of the 3D glasses. Kind of makes sense, I guess. I don't know if I set the high score today. That's the latest score, but no, no high scores. Oh well. Alright, on to number six. Okay, I think you guys can see that in the background there. Let me zoom in. There's Tundra Twister still, as you can see, under construction. Who knows when they're going to even be testing it, let alone when it's open for uh, to ride. But, I don't know, maybe get over there and get a closer look. Maybe I'll give it a shot. But for right now, we are number six. Windseeker. Okay, look, I'm gonna be completely up front with you guys. There is no way I'll be able to finish this. I've done six rides in total. And as I mentioned back in a braid lumberjack, that one already almost took it all out of me. I don't know why. I just, this combination of being tired, because so I was up all night, you know, because I usually can't. If I know I'm going to a place like this, I usually can't sleep for some reason. So there's that. My ride tolerance has gone way down the last few years. So I don't even know what the hell I was thinking with this challenge. What I am going to do, and I think uh, my number four ride, which was going to be sledgehammers down anyway. So what I'm going to do is hit up the top three co uh, my top three rides. I might as well spoil it. My top three coasters. In this park, which is of course the three, the three B and M's we got: the dive, you got, you got Yukon, you got Behemoth, you got Leviathan. I hit up those three, and after that, I'm gonna call it a day, more or less, because I can't, poor stomach can't handle it. So let's go it's right here anyway. Let's go do Yukon. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do since I failed, obviously. Well, I don't know if anybody's even watching at this point anywhere anyway, but if you are, since I obviously failed, and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him about this because I might be going with him next month. And if I do, I'm gonna have trouble. You know, my boy Troublemaker. I'm gonna have him devise uh, a punishment. For my failure, because I didn't even get—I don't even get half the rides in. So, I'm gonna have him come up with a punishment. Hopefully, nothing too severe, but I guess we'll see. So, let's go hit up these last three, and uh, do I want to still? No, I guess it doesn't matter anymore at this point. Does I'm just gonna tell you what my top three rides are. This is Econ here, of course. Leviathan number two, Behemoth number one. Have those three rides, do a wrap up, and call it a day, pretty much. Let's get a little closer, shall we? But 
come back here probably not for a while if I well if I do come back with Troublemaker I don't even know how I'm gonna handle that if I couldn't handle any of those rides I don't even know how I'm gonna handle this one but I'm sure it's all gonna give it the old college try uh, anyway uh, so I'll come back to you guys again I'll be pretty much it now I was just sitting here on the bench and I saw there was like they're doing like a little bit of testing or something so how's that for some nice treat footage hopefully you guys are still watching this because this is something interesting I don't know what you call this testing Kind of would, but I don't think it's doing the full cycle. That's a nice, uh, neat little treat. I mean, yeah, it wasn't much, but hey, I wasn't expecting anything. I'll stick around a little longer. If I find something else interesting, I'll film it. Well, so much for going on Leviathan. It's down too, apparently. So that makes Leviathan and Sledgehammer down. Well, Sledgehammer is always down, but Leviathan not uh, not usually. So anyway. So then, if you think about it, this is two of the rides I was gonna do. We're we're down. If you think about it, you can look at it one of two ways. Either I was doomed to fail, or I didn't fail at all. I was just a victim of circumstance. Nah, I'm kidding. Well, half kidding. I don't usually take cop-outs like that. But you can look at it however you want to. I'm just saying that's, a, that's two different ways of looking at it other than outright fail. I definitely won't be able to do the other half of the challenge, so I guess... Yeah, now you think about it, I did fail. Yeah, well.